I know what you're thinking. It's kind of ironic to claim that something is dead that never existed in the first place. <laughs> Uh, I already see delusional carnists getting offended and typing I've been eating raw grass to beef for months and I feel great. I got way better by eating meat again. It's not about which diet kills more, it's the fact that both kills. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> anyway, after vegetable police mashed the carnivore diet into oblivion, twice, another experiment was conducted about the health effect of a meat-focused diet. Carnivore YouTuber Drew Mork conducted a diet swapping experiment of a carnivore and a vegan. So basically a vegan tries a carnivore diet or like a high meat diet for one month and the carnivore guy tries a vegan for one month. I would not switch my diet for a carnivore diet like ever, but I appreciate this vegan guy for doing it in the name of science. But let's just say that the experiment had actually the opposite effect of, of what was originally intended, I guess. It's stupid. It's just stupid, yeah. It's ridiculous. I agree. I hate it, the bloating <laughs> and the gas. It was terrible. I hate the yeah. vegan diet. I don't care if carnivore kills me, guys. What? You don't care if the carnivore diet kills you? Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Even a non-vegan doctor in the video acknowledged that the vegan diet is superior. As a low-carb person, I'm more convinced by these labs that carnivore is not a good idea. Also, to be honest, I think the vegan diet came away a clear winner here. People under the video commented with, uh, I think this just convinced me to go vegan. <laughs> Great, thanks Drew for helping people turn or stay vegan. In this video, I want to talk about three points why the carnivore diet is dead or soon to be. Number one, the carnivore diet is not on the right side of history. If the vegan diet or a Mediterranean diet is superior on a health standpoint, can be debatable. But the carnivore diet is just so extremely flawed that I don't know where to begin with. <laughs> yes, my goal with this channel is to get veganism across, but it's also to help people. It's extreme to be claiming that anything is on the wrong side of history, I know. Uh, the degree to which Russia is on the wrong side of history on this. But I'm amazed that it isn't a clear fact that the carnivore diet is one of the worst things for your health, the planet and definitely the animals. The way we treat animals will probably be one of the things future generations will look down on in disgust. Future generations will most likely not look down on people that chose to go the ethical and environmental friendly vegan path. They will also likely not look down on people that just didn't know any better. But there will be a special disgust in the future for people that subsisted entirely on animal matter. This claim, of course, is based on the fundament that the future will be moving the same way as we've done in the last couple years, into the direction of compassion. Because the truth is, we probably live in the most compassionate time there has ever been. There are few bars, there's not a Genghis Khan or a Hitler waiting to destroy us, Swerich cannot monetize his channel, <laughs> there are no public executions in cities, people are not getting burned regularly for their religious beliefs, we have rights for women and all people of color get treated with respect from any sane person. In the developed world, people die mostly of older age and not from violence. This is a good thing and this makes me optimistic that our compassion will likely also reach the rights of animals in the future. Number 2. Carnivore Anecdotes We are starting to reach a point where people are finally leaving the carnivore diet and make the story public. In the blood test results of the experiment, we see a decrease in health on the carnivore profile. The high meat dieter got worse IGF-1 levels, worse lipid profiles and worse C-reactive protein which are all an indicator of inflammation. Set writes in a comment on my channel, I followed them Swerich, for over a year. My health suffered so much. These public stories of the ex-carnivores will be massive because the best arguments that the carnivores have against veganism is there weird videos on Swerich's channel and the claims that your eyes get somehow sunken in? <laughs> in the next months we will be experiencing a lot of people that will speak out against the carnivore diet. And maybe even some of his original creators like Jordan Peterson. Because the truth is, most carnivores are more mentally invested in their cult than vegans are. Look at the like to dislike ratio of the Sean Peterson video on my channel. I need to delete carnivore hate comments on a daily basis. 
Also, the meat-friendly doctor in the video seems to be the most biased of them all. Um, doctor 3, this is the carnivore doctor. The carnivore doctor, wait, carnivore doctor? Is it not an oxymoron? <laughs> anyway, the doctor with the stupid diet is blaming all the bad results on the shortcomings and the stupidity of his clients. <laughs> and not on their inherently flawed diet. You shouldn't have a B12 of 439 as a carnivore. Suggest to me there's something else going on, maybe some autoimmune issue. Man, his folate was incredibly low before. How can you get a folate of 4.3 on carnivore? His homocysteine was 17.9. Both, <laughs> both of these guys are... <laughs> I edited that out. What? <laughs> Dr. Sean Baker, is it you? <laughs> Number 3. The rise of the vegan burgers You already know that I'm a fan of the fake meats. They're one of the biggest possibilities for the vegan diet. Reason being that there will be a time when they are cheaper and way healthier to consume than normal meats. I think there will be vegans on the sole vegan carnivore diet in the future, subsisting on fake meat. But hey, that's okay with me. What I want to get across is if we take a look at meat from an engineering standpoint, we have to agree that it's extremely unsustainable. We produce food by using food, with a very bad conversion rate. The future is in either lab-grown meat or plant-based meat and definitely not in the conventional meat supply. Some people don't like change, but you need to embrace change if the alternative is disaster. Conclusion: The carnivore diet is dead or soon to be. The reason is that it's morally flawed in a more and more compassionate world, unhealthy for us fellow humans and vegan burgers are on the rise. It's a matter of time until it will be completely eradicated from planet earth and everyone that once was a proponent of it is either claiming that they never were associated with the tribe or already suffering. From scurvy. The mission of this YouTube channel is to put veganism across the goal line. If you want to help us achieve that, like and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Let's make food production great again.